Hey guys, welcome in, and this is a deck that I've been playing with the last couple of days, and I have dropped three, four hundred LO using it. So what I wanted to try, I've actually, I had about a good three or four games where I was locked in my opponents down, had everything, thing. I had Kangaskhan in the place of um, Decidua. Locked my opponents down, and I had nothing to use Z-moves, and my opponent just Z-moves his way out of everything. And I was just like... So after a day of losing like that, I decided I'll swap him for Decidua. He's still got the he's still got the um, the um, he still works with the deck. So the idea was that at first uh, I had Kangaskhan with the Swablus, and I wanted to make a deck around that. But then I was like, it's, it's still just not that great. And then I decided, what else goes with it? And I thought, oh, Drifloon goes with the Swablus, minus for the 30. And then I was like, oh, why didn't you add Martian in there as well? And then you can get a minus um, 30, 50. You can get a minus 50 for Marsh and Drifloon. Um, and I was like, this could actually be a really cool strategy. So I, I started running that. Um, so I'm just going to edit the plates. I want to get rid of my gold block. I've been having a hard time with the rush. So let me just swap this quickly, and then this is gonna be this is gonna be my last attempt. I, I've had a few great games with it. Maybe I get rid of Airbrun as well. Airbrun as well isn't actually that great. Okay, and let's get rid of Airbrun too. So Airbrun, and maybe put in a Rocky helmet, just for when I need to get rid of something. Okay, now we're talking. Now let us see how this deck will do. Maybe another. Double chance, actually. Instead of XP, XP doesn't mean that. Um, that you, hmm. I'll leave it for now. XP is still good for Marsh Shadow and just getting rid of a purple heavy figure. So, let us see. EX pool. Hmm. Hmm. To start it off, there is one coming. Rainbow is sitting right there. That's right. So, okay, not a bad, not a bad blue. We're going to jump in, this is going to be my last one, with, oh no, no, stop, I, I swapped the, I even swapped decks, just because I lost a couple of times, when I was wanting a boost, and I didn't have any more time, so I just jumped into my other deck, just so I can get a quick win, but, I want to cancel, I want to cancel, and I want to swap my deck, rip, rip, should I just forfeit straight away, because I don't really want to play if I get another box, I think I will. Let's go jump out. We're gonna get we're gonna jump into the other deck. And I've got some more decks I would like to test. So let us see. I wish you could activate like all the AI and the forfeit and all that kind of stuff in your own in your your on your opponent's turn and then just when it ticks over to your turn it activates. Whatever you choose. And I wish AI wasn't, you had to click it and then click yes and all this other stuff. It should just be an on and off button. Just tick it on, tick it off. Alright. So, let's actually put the deck where on to be used. Alright, let's see. League. There we go. So, I actually found that this deck was doing pretty good. But then you get it into against like dragons and that things that just have super high, like crazy damage. And then... That's pretty terrible. You've only got one mon to use, and that is Drifloon uh, and Drifblum. So it's really cool seeing him at one Evo 140 and hanging with everything on the board. He can go and hang out with like rays and all this sort of thing that now damage them all. That is really nice. Having like a 190, <laughs> so nice. Um, the equivalent of a 190 because it's minusing 450 off my opponents and I'm a 140. So, all right, let us see if we can do a little bit of a showcasing of this. Is that Charizard X or Y? I'm sure people would buy Y. All right, now what has he got? A Poipole? Y. Who wouldn't buy Y? I'm gonna just pack this one here, and then pack the next one there, and that one there, 
And then it's going to take him another turn to get my entry, and then I can get my other mons out. I am going to go here. Charizard's probably going to come out. So we'll see. Charizard, I'm going to put Marsh up here. Just so he has to respect it, and then I can get one more mon out, and then I can have got enough to do surrounds and whatever else I need. So I've got all my mons that give the minusing damage. So the deck is to get as much minus as I can off one off one lot. So we shall see how this works. I'm gonna long throw the situation down there. Ooh. Or not, I don't even have to. Blue, purple, purple, not blue! Why do I say blue? <sighs> when you accidentally call on the roll. So I am going to hmm I'm gonna drop down my marshadow. Go over, maybe attack um, Poipo, and then, and then, depending, ah, he, he's on it, he's on to the right thing, so I can attack a Sand Shrew right there, I am going to, so now a problem that I had with this is, I wasn't using my double chances. I was like, yeah, I, I've got all everything on the board and I should be good. And I started just attacking things and even things like that. I was like, that should be good. And then like a Charizard will go spinning like 10 times and I'll be like... But see that minus 50, man. That is what that is what this is about. That is why I made this. Um, so hopefully... And I also got some... like The, the amount of times I attacked with Drif, Drifloon and rolled Miss. And I was just like... <laughs> Um, and that's why, yeah, I just haven't published any of the videos, any of the videos that I've made so far. So I hope, actually hope he puts Lunala on the goal. And um, there we go. And I'm just going to be burning plates right about now. But Lunala's only doing 10 damage. So just wanted to protect myself against the, uh, my little segment, my little segment. But check that, he has me, and I take him all the way down to 12 damage. 12 damage. And now my opponent is going to have to hurdle jump, then he's going to have a goal lock, and I should be sweet, even against these decks. Although, although, stranger things have happened. So we'll see what he wants to do. Is he going to goal block or is he going to hurdle jump? I'd say he should hurdle jump. And if he does, I need to set up a surround on that Gardevoir. So I'll jump over there. Maybe attack Gardevoir? Maybe not. I th don't think I will. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to try and surround Gardevoir just so I can freely move around the board. Get all my mons out. And then... Oh, give me my gold. I'll take that. Um... And now, let's start moving things up. Alright, swap, swap, long throw. We're here to play now. I want to go after that Charizard. Just because. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, look at that. 10 damage Charizard. 10 damage Charizard. This is what this deck is about. And this is the way it's meant to work. Um, okay, looking good. Now he's got a spin, 120 or more, and this is this is what this is the kind of things that were happening to me. This is what was actually the, the what was happening, and it's nuts. Um, <laughs> my spinners never do that, and then I get to this point, and if I lose now, man, rip, rip the dream. And so I'm just gonna move out here, get my drift uh, drift bloom out, maybe use a max revive. Um, but I needed to, I needed to get, get my entry free first. Double chance, come on, dodge for me, my shadow. Dodge for me. Or single spin on my white. Single. Okay, one more single spin or dodge. Single spin or dodge or miss. Anything but the 110 or that's fine. That is fine. 
I am going to max revive just in case. And then I might may even Rocky Hound. If I can get him locked down, my opponent locked down, I will even um, Rocky Helmet something. So we'll see. No. Alright, at least at least he doesn't get his Charizard back straight away. And I will get this out. And I'll look to I can't attack easily, but not right now anyway. Purple. Pick. Pick. <laughs> and when I lose one of my mons. Ah, oh, feels bad. I'm not going to take a, the Altaria Evo. So I will move up here. Give it the Z move his Guz. And I am going to do that right now. And hopefully he doesn't roll purple. But I just want to make sure I'm always filling up my... Yeah. At least, at least he should be a 1 MP now. But rip. Rip. Um, yeah, that was terrible. Oh, I want to go after that. Oh. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna just move up here. Just pressure the pressure the goal. What? I thought it was only after its first. What's going on? All right. I don't have marsh on the board. And I don't have marsh on the board, so I've got to watch out for that. All right. Take away on the Guzzlord or the Lunala is what I want. All right. I'm going after Lunala. So he's minus thirty. So looking for my purple. Or a miss. I'm gonna take the miss. And I will go after that Charizard. Um, I'd rather not let the Mega pop out. And then and then we shall see what my opponent wants to do. He may mega now. He is gonna mega just for the protection. But if I can pop off my purple. Then goodbye, Mega. Oh, oh, this is risky. This is risky for me. So, do I want a Rocky Helmet right about now? If I can hit a takeaway on this, he's got a Gold Block, but it's not a good chance. I'm just gonna go after this. Looking, looking for my purple. No. Ah <laughs> oh, man. And this is where it all falls apart. I should have used. I should. Yeah, it doesn't. Didn't even matter if I use Rocky Helmet. Z move onto my little swab. Is what he is gonna do. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Purple, please. Purple. <gasps> no. No. Wow. There's only a Z move that only does a hundred. Wow. Um. Now, is he going to attack or is he going to cover entries? Is the question. Attack or cover entries? Okay, he's just doing that. Well, I want to cover his entry as well. See what he does. Get my Marsh Shadow out. Long throw. I'm glad I put it a long throw in. Okay. Okay, long throw. And then I'll Rocky Helmet with Marsh Shadow. Rocky Helmet with Marshado for getting rid of the Charizard. That is the aim. And if I can get rid of the Charizard, I don't really have to worry about... Oh, come on. Dodge for me now. <gasps> when you make a bad decision, and you know it. When you make a bad decision, and you know it. Clap your hands. Um, yeah, no, that was terrible. So I either need to get a takeaway on this guy... I'm doing 30, and he is doing minus 20, so he's doing 37. I can't even out damage him because I'm burnt. So I've got a couple of options. A, attack Poipo. I don't got that much. Well, I don't have much chance either. Either way. Mmm, man, feels bad. Rocky helmet. Let's go. Rocky helmet versus Charizard. As long as I don't roll my purple or my dodge. That's what I need. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Got myself out of trouble. 
I'm glad I added in that Rocky helmet. Just gonna say that. Making the right plays. Oh, okay, but now, now I'm glad I didn't lose that right then. That 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 is honestly how I've been losing like a whole lot of my matches, and it has been horrible. It has been absolutely horrible losing like that. Although if he comes down and warp holes my Swablu, swaps it with uh, Decidueye, then I'm in trouble. Okay. Come on, give me your purple. Um, I'm gonna look to work my way up in Z move uh, that does. Uh, just maximizing my Z moves now is what I'm trying to do. And then let's see if what he does with that sand sh slash. Okay. I'm just gonna move down here. So I'm in a position to threaten things. Does my opponent have a hurdle jump? He does, doesn't he? Hurdle jump, goal block. What do I have left? Swap spot. Uh, getting myself into dangerous positions. Right, I am going to... Purple. Oof. When you need one more. Okay. I am going to Z move. I need to, I need to knock him out right now. I need to knock him out. No more purples. No more purples right now. That's, good. That's not good though. No. That's not good at all. Um, but what I can do next turn, he has to att attack, knock me out, or else I'm gonna threaten his goal and keep threatening his goal. Mm, oh well. I'm gonna go here. And attack and now he he's got to either try not to attack or potentially goal block the next turn now he's got a goal block then I attack him again and then he's got a hurdle jump and hurdle jump and then I just need to attack and get one attacking one winning attack off as in to land earthquake and then it can potentially be GG and so damage on damage is what we're wanting damage on damage I'm playing the super risky Okay, now purple versus Lunala. Purple versus Lunala, and I win. Purple versus Lunala, and I win. Um, <sighs> takeaway versus Lunala. I better say takeaway, not Lunala's purple. I don't want to see Lunala's purple unless it's unless it's uh, Will O Wisp. That's the only thing I want to see. My one one forty on his sixty. That's so scary. That is so scary. That is so scary. Um, one of the other options I could have done instead of just attacking goal like that would be to get Owl out and try and snipe his Poipol. But it's such a risky, like, the, my last couple of snipes didn't work. Um, and I was feeling that that was probably my best option. Um, <sighs> um, but there we go. <laughs> that is the deck that I've been working on, um, and it has been doing absolutely, like, just losing in the worst possible ways and getting some absolutely horrible rolls. Um, but there we go, I, I pulled through. Um, yeah, now like, I'll get into, like, a lot of the times when I was losing with this deck, I'll get into really good positions, and I'll just be like, I'll lose two, three, four rolls in a row. Or straight off the bat, I'd lose two, three, four rolls in a row, including like misses from Drift Loon before I can even Evo, just me not double chancing, things like that. And and I was just like, I, I like I'm a person who likes to save my things. I don't like to go off and use them straight away. So that's why. Yeah. But I think it does have potential. I think it really does have potential. Um, and I think if you have two drift loons, drift loons, uh, drift uh, drift blims to Evo, I think that would make the deck just having two of them that you can be aggressive with. Um, going away, taking things away, having the minus 50 on both of them, I think that'll be super dangerous. So if anyone has two of them plus three swablus and a marshadow, feel free to make the deck 
play a match and send me a couple of ideas of how it goes. Um, I'll put the this XLAN Discord link down below. Um, I heard a lot of people asking about it, and I will start. I'm being slack, not putting in descriptions, but I'll I'll get back onto it. Descri it's in the description if you want to check out the XLAN Discord. Even if you just want to contact me, send me pictures, um, screenshots, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a little Ask SHD tab, so feel free to feel free to contact me there. Um, but other than that, I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't lose horribly in the end there. Um, it all worked out. It could have went so bad. Like if, if my opponent attacked with Gardevoir on that on that Swablu, was the attack he should what he should have done. If he rolled Warpole, he could have swapped with my um, swapped my Drifloon and my Swablu or one one on the bench or something like that, and potentially potentially just waited me so I couldn't stop this around or could have knocked me out and then I would have had no chance to um, defend uh, and that would have been game over so my opponent could have easily won in the end there I'm glad he did it I'm glad he did it <laughs> but uh, things he can learn and uh, I'm glad I can finally stop running this deck <sighs> but if any of you want to try it and have two full evo drif Drifblums I'd love to see some IDs. Although you do, until the Z-Move update and any of these other mons get Z-Moves, you will be... When when these mons get Z-Moves, this will be a whole other story. And this will be pot pot potentially a strong deck. But, mm, until then, that's going to be it. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments, and we'll see you guys...